Last time on Star Trek The Next Generation. I am Larak, Chancellor of the Planet, Phrygis. May I send some of my crew down to learn more about you? How can I help you, Commander Riker? We're looking for information about the fifth scroll your lawgiver brought here with him. That is a religious matter, so you must ask the leaders of the sects for help. I do not think I can help you. Our sect has lost so many items in the declaratory that I doubt we would be very good treasure hunters. My people have always looked inside themselves for their strength. We have never cared for external things to aid our spiritual quest. I am afraid I cannot help you. The original was hidden by the lawgiver many centuries ago. More than a month ago, our leader Elant vanished through the door of enlightenment. He has not returned. Come no closer. I am the gatekeeper of the Door of Enlightenment. You must answer my questions appropriately to determine whether you are wise enough to proceed. Ask me your questions. Your answers prove that you are ready. You may pass through the door. Somebody's trapped in there. This must be an unknown language if the Universal Translator doesn't read it. We found Elant, but he was trapped inside some sort of stasis field. It is probably Chodak in origin. We still find many Chodak devices here, and they are often operational, even after all these years. Can you help us free Elant? There was a control panel with a sign near it. We couldn't translate the writing. The lawgiver made a great study of the ruins and developed a Chodak Garidian translator. I will upload it into your tricorder. By the lawgiver's wisdom, what is happening here? How can I thank you for rescuing me from that stasis field? Here are the talismans I picked up as well as the key to our vault which holds the trophies we have won in the declaratory over the years. You may take up to three items to help you in your mission. And now the continuation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Trek A Final Unity, Episode 6, uh, Part 2 of our Away Mission to Phrygis. I am your host, Angel. And last time uh, we found the planet Frigis, obviously, and we've been investigating where the fifth scroll might be for our Garidian refugee friends. Uh, we met some religious leaders, so we met Chancellor Laruk, uh, the uh, guy in charge of the planet. They've been mostly pretty friendly so far. Um, and then we found this chap who has been trapped in a stasis field for about a month. His name is Elant. Uh, and this is the first, <coughs> this room is the first example of Chodak technology and architecture that we've seen. Uh, the Chodak certainly taking a bit more of a, a larger role in this, uh, this game. Uh, so yeah, now we will be resuming our away mission. And as a reward for rescuing him from the uh, the stasis field, Elant gave us these three items, two kind of uh, opal-shaped gems, I guess, and a key code for a vault which contains all the items that his sect has won in a contest that they have every ten or so years. Because uh, the previous two sects that we went to visit said they'd had a lot of their stuff taken from them. And in order to proceed, we're going to need to give them back their items. Uh, so yeah, let's let's do that. I think we'll use data because he's hiding in the back here. Right. Okay. Here we go. Use this. Okay. Uh, I think he said we can have three things, so let's see what we've got here. It's basically just a pole with some fancy work on the end. It's a golden ring. I wonder what this is used for. It's basically just a pole. It looks like a pretty ordinary stasis jar. Hmm. Okay, let's get a bit more of a definitive reading. No unusual readings. No unusual... No unusual... Jar is empty. Jar is empty. No unusual... This is still a... This is a sonic redigitizer. I'd stake my reputation on it. Okay. It looks lightweight and easy to hold. It looks light. It is a metallic rod. It is a metallic. It is an electronic device similar. 
It appears to be a stasis jar, a container used... Okay, um, now what I recall, we had the golden ring on the, uh, the, uh, the guys who like the singing. So we'll take that. The sonic redigitizer was to make his instrument sing again, or work, so we need that. And then the scepter of light, which I think is this, because it looks like a thing of light, but yeah, I can't remember, because if you remember that that uh, woman was quite into her pain and gothic, and that kind of goes for it, but it doesn't look like a scepter of light to me. I think we can come back and change our options, um, but yeah, we'll take those three. I don't think we can take any more. Specifically requested that we take no more than three objects. I believe it would be unwise to ignore him. Okay, Data, okay. All right, well, we got our free, uh, three, three things. Let's... Okay. Oh, we don't have the key anymore. It didn't work. Okay, well, let's hope we have the right things then. Because <laughs> we're going to need to reload if we don't. All right. Let's go back to... The Chantry, I think it was called. Uh, okay, let's uh, fix your ring. You returned the missing ring. In your honor, we shall sing our loveliest chant. Watch your step. Thanks for letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. Since you enjoyed it so much, here is an orchestrion of it that you can play whenever you want. Nice and short, too. All right, and now, yep, see, so we got a thing. We're going to need that, and then let's do this as well. I think this will fix it. You repaired our instrument. In your honor, I shall play the lawgiver's song Traveling music. I can't use shift on him. Thanks for letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. Since you enjoyed it so much, here is an orchestrion of it that you can play whenever you want. This orchestrion play- Okay. And I think we're done. And this is- Thank you for- Yeah, that's it. We're done here. We got what we needed, I think. Because the next one we give her her scepter of light and that unlocks the transporter pad I imagine which takes us to a new area of the game so let's give her her my scepter of light oh, thank you I have been missing this for ages oh, what favor can I do for you in return <laughs> she's annoyed she has to give us a favor lovely Tell us where the original fifth scroll is. I honestly do not know. I have been all over this temple and have not seen it. So I am sure it is not here. What's behind this force field? An ancient Shodak transporter pad. Will you lower the force field? Mm, yes. I will do that for you. But I do not think it will be much help since we have never figured out how the Lawgiver's transporter works. Don't worry, we've got Starfleet's finest here, we can figure this out. Okay. I think this is the trend. What do you reckon, Geordi? These controls have a sonic lock. If we play the right musical combination, we can unlock them. Ah, okay. I kind of thought it would be the, uh, these things, but no, we have to play one of these things. Uh, okay. Do we know which one? This control pad has a... Uh, oh, bloody hell. It didn't work. Mm. 
Let's pick this one then. And we're gonna have to wait 30 seconds for this to play. I, I apologize, I can't... I can't skip it. It's gonna be annoying if this isn't the right one. I just realized Madea is gone. This melody doesn't work. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, um. This orchestrion plays traveling. This orchestrion plays watch your. This orchestra. Okay, maybe traveling music because we're gonna travel. There we go. I should have just done that to begin with. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Uh, okay, this is one of those things where... You, okay, so... As I recall, you play bits of music and certain blocks appear. And when you play different bits, other blocks appear, but others disappear. So you have to get the right order. So... <clears throat> this might take a few tries. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a particular pattern. Let's do a bit of tricording. What have we got here? Touchpad's much newer than the rest of the room. I think it was added by the Garidians. This unit has the same sonic locking mechanism as the device in Medius Temple. There's a miniaturized record. So we've got several orchestrians here. And what's that? It has a phase variance of 3,000 kilohertz. And yeah, it's oval shaped, and yeah, I think it was the blue one, wasn't it? Order says this is operating at a phase variant. Okay, I'm not sure what would happen if we put the five thousand one, and that we'll try that. I think when we get there, if we get there. So, well, I I don't want to play the thirty second long one again. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna save. We're out of save slots, so... Alright, let's grab this. I'm gonna zip back, and we'll see what that does. Okay, so the middle one... is the one that stays. Let's go to the middle one, and then... Alrighty. Uh, okay. This is. I could keep going back and forth, but. I don't know. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go to this one and hope for the best. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, can I get this? Nope. Can I get this? Uh, no, apparently not. Okay, um... Oh shit. No, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. <laughs> okay. At least I know how to get back now. Okay, so we have to do this again, but at least this gives me an opportunity to uh, see where we need to go. Okay, so that's the one I need to have, and I need to be there. Okay. So, is it this one? Yep. Yeah. And then we go here. Maybe a bit off the side there. Then back here. Excellent. 
now I don't know which one it's going to be. Um, hmm. Hmm. If we go back to here and then use this. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Okay, so it's it's that one I need to be on. All right. I think he'll be fine. I see no. He has lost consciousness. Can we use the? Uh... Will's been injured. Well, yeah, help him then. It didn't. Oh, he, he's fine. He's back up. Okay. Um. So it's this one. I need to remember. Okay. Uh... Okay. Okay. Gotta try and remember these blocks, if it's this one or this one it goes to. There we go. It didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go back. Um... Okay, so I need to be there, use that, we get there, then this one I think, yes, okay, alright, I got this, I got this. Uh, we'll use LaForge I think, so, come on, uh, this one. Oh, that's annoying. Troy, get out of the way. And this one. Okay. And this one. Oh god, I've forgotten which one. Is it this one? <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, which one was it? It's that one, isn't it? Oh, idiot. Right. This one and this one. I'll get there. I'll get there. Don't worry. Come on, Jordy. I need you back, buddy. There we go. Right, one more time. Ah, it's kind of annoying people get in the way. There we go.
And then it's this one. Yay! Okay. I I I kind of want to save just in case. I, I I really don't have to do that again. Uh, and then it was this one, right? Please. Yes. All right. I think we did it. Um, let's do that again because I want to try. What happens if we put the wrong thing in? Wait. No, 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 no. I'm sure. Did I put the wrong thing in? What was the scanning? The niche has a. This object is. Okay. So. This object. I'm sure. No, 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 Tr Troy, you can't do it. Huh. Okay. Bear with me, because I'm I'm curious. I'm, I'm sh pretty Troy. Stop it. Okay, so it opens the door. I'm pretty sure that there's a penalty for doing this. Yeah, this this is going off. Oh, there we go. That scroll was here for a thousand years, and we destroyed it. We should return to the ship before we do any more unintentional damage. So yeah, that. Be us up. There you go. That is a fail state. Captain's log supplemental. Through an unfortunate accident, the Garidian's fifth scroll has been destroyed. Lucana, Tabak, and Avakar are devastated by the loss, but have indicated they want to return to their homeworld and continue their work. Words cannot express how deeply we regret the loss of the fifth scroll, Chancellor. I thank you for your concern, Captain, but we survived a thousand years without the scroll. The fact that it is now gone will make little difference to our daily lives. But the words in that scroll could have resolved the disputes between your sects. Perhaps. But it could just as easily have fanned those disputes into open warfare. The fifth scroll did contain the truth, Captain. But after many long years of struggle, our culture achieved a certain balance without it. And sometimes, balance is even more important than truth. At least this encounter has initiated a friendly contact between our two cultures. Captain, a Garidian warbird is decloaking off the on screen. Okay, um, I'm not going to do this. I want to... So it's not a complete failure state. It's It clearly does have a, a an impact on how the things on Garrett go. So without the fifth scroll, they don't get what they want. I think uh, because I think a revolution tends to happen on the planet as a result. Um, and I would rather go through the uh, what, what should be the correct way to do this. I don't want to lose the fifth scroll, so... Yeah, it's not a complete fail state of the game. It's just you don't complete that mission uh, with 100% uh, success. So yeah, that was interesting. But let's let's do this normally. And oh, again, with the wrong character selected. Yep, yeah, that's not beeping anymore. mixture in the pipe contains mostly inert gases. Again, some interesting architecture work going on here. The ink and parchment are the right age for this to be the original fifth scroll. Just hanging out. You know. Let's go and grab it quickly then. That flashing light could mean trouble. We'd better get the scroll back to the ship so Debak can authenticate. Beam us up. Okay, so we found the fifth scroll. Supplemental. We have successfully retrieved the Garidian's fifth scroll, and Tabak has verified the manuscript's authenticity. Lucana assures me the mere existence of this scroll may radically alter the structure of Garidian society. 
I am glad you found the original scroll, Captain. I hope it will do some good on Garrod. Keeping it here would only upset the delicate balance between the sects. Thank you for your generosity. Would you be willing to let the Federation send an archaeological research team to Phrygis? Your world has the finest collection of Chodak ruins in known space. Would we be permitted to share in any Chodak secrets they uncover? Of course. The Federation believes in freely distributing scientific knowledge. In fact, we would be honored if your scientists would join our efforts. Then we agree, Captain. Send us your archaeologists. Captain, Lucana is on the comm. She wishes to speak to you. Put her on. The oppressed masses of Garrett offer their gratitude for your assistance, Captain. Garridian society will soon be transformed. We must now make plans to return the scroll to Garrett. Captain, a Garridian warbird is decloaking off the port bow. It is the Asurum, Captain Pintara's ship. They are hailing us. Okay. You remember her from the opening of the game? Well, she's back. On screen. Thank you for leading us here, Captain Picard. The ruling council has wondered for centuries where these people ran off to. You have no business here, Captain Pentara. We are in Federation space and this world is asked for our protection. I intend to give it to them. This is no longer a matter of a little scout ship, Captain. A subspace message was sent from your ship to the Garidian rebels. A full-scale revolution has erupted on Garrett. We sent no messages. I suspect it was that revolutionary Lucana. She delights in stirring up trouble. Surrender her, end her companions at once, or face the consequences. Captain, the Asurum is powering up its disruptors. Shields up! Captain Pentara, anyone who has been sending unauthorized subspace messages from my ship will be dealt with severely. I do not tolerate that sort of behavior. Well, cat's out the back now, Picard. You may have a few minutes to investigate, but I'm still not leaving without those people. Mr. Worf, get me Lucana on the comm. What do you want, Captain? Are you responsible for a subspace message being sent to Garrod? Yes, I brought a subspace microtransceiver with me. Now that we have the fifth scroll, our revolution is fully justified. Garridian society must change. You are playing games with thousands of lives and risking an interstellar incident. Freedom for my people is worth any price, Captain. Lucana, this has gone far enough. If I get my mother to intercede with the ruling council, will you come back to Garrod and stop the revolution? Your mother is as reactionary as the council. She is a woman of honor. She would keep her word even to you, someone she hates. If she can get the council to listen, it might be worth the gamble. Captain, can you patch me through to my mother's ship? Make it so, Mr. Wolf. Mother, there is no need to fight. We have the fifth scroll. The fifth scroll is a myth. No, I've seen it and Tabak has verified it. This will change our world forever. Do you realize what this means? The ruling council has not been truthful with us for generations. The people will demand revenge. If you give us safe passage back to Garrod and convince the council to hear Lucana's message, she will return with the fifth scroll and stop the rebellion. Very well. Captain Picard, I will power down my disruptors so you can lower your shields and let me beam to Bark, Avakar, and Lucana to my ship. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Under better circumstances, I hope. Sir, the Warbird is disarming its weapons. Lower shields. Okay. Um, I think this might be a good time to talk about the Prime Directive, or at least when we first started the game, they wanted us to go and find the Fist Scroll. And from a purely historical, archaeological perspective, there is some merit to doing that. And someone in my comments in the second episode said there should be no problem in helping them. It's not like we're pulling, giving, arming them, pulling the phaser, that sort of thing, if, if it causes revolution. Uh, Lucan, on the other hand, is very militant. She wants revolution. She's clearly out for a bit of blood. And this is where this becomes a moral quagmire. By giving them the fifth scroll, uh, we are interfering with their society, however indirectly. Uh, by giving them this this parchment which determines how their society is supposed to function and as you can see it's already caused uh, a revolution or a rebellion on the planet people are dying it doesn't matter how indirect this is we are responsible for finding that scroll initially and because security on the enterprise is well there is no security on the enterprise <laughs> um 
Lucana sent the information back to her homeworld and started this rebellion. So there's definitely an argument to be had here of whether we were justified in trying to find the fifth scroll, uh, despite what the consequences would be. I mean, I think the game gave us enough information that if we found the scroll, the, the potential consequences to Garidian society would be quite clear. And they're not part of the Federation, they're not a member of... Um, they're not a human colony or anything like this. Uh, they're actually a, uh, an ally of an enemy. Um, there's certainly a potential um, tactical reward, I could, if you, if you could say, because uh, it could disrupt the Romulans a little bit by having their ally um, have such an internal revolution. But yeah, I mean, the, the Federation is usually pretty strict on non-interference and... It, it's it's an interesting one. I, I think this constitutes interference, however indirect. And I think, you know, if this was a bit more thought, thought through, the, you know, Picard would not have done this. Picard is very hardline when it comes to this sort of thing, generally speaking. I, I don't think he would have done this if he knew, or at least uh, suspected, what the consequences would be. So it, it's, it's a very interesting one to debate. I, I would appreciate, you know, if... It, interested even in your comments on on this subject uh, i think this could spark an interesting debate so yeah if if you have something to say on this subject matter let me know in the comments and let's have a good debate on it for now um i think this concludes the frigis away mission um the Garidians have beamed aboard the asiram so let's see what happens next they are underway on course back to garrod what are your orders, Captain? I should like to consider the situation a bit further. Right. Gonna save. Can I get to talk about something before this goes off on to whatever it's happening next? I think we can actually contact Starfleet and get a update on our mission. Admiral Williams here. What can I do for you, Captain? What's your assessment of our recent performance? Starfleet Command is very pleased with your first contact mission to the Garidian colony on Phrygis. However, the subsequent discovery of the fifth scroll will have profound effects on Garrod. Exactly what we've just discussed. I commend you on your handling of the Garidian refugee problem. Tabak, Lucana, and Avakar have returned home aboard the Garidian warbird Asirum. Their intrusion into Federation space has been handled through diplomatic channels. Shall I go on? Please do. You did good work on Marassia. Dr. Hunforsch is back at work with the Preserve, and relations with the Marassians have improved noticeably since your visit. Shall I go on? No. No, thank you. I'd like to confirm our current orders. Of course. Starfleet Command is still considering the options. While we review the situation, the Enterprise is to remain on patrol. What is the current situation, Admiral? Is there anything in particular we should be aware of? Actually, things are relatively quiet right now. The only cause for concern is all the Romulan activity in the area. Picard out. Yep, there we go. receiving an emergency transmission from Starfleet headquarters. So yeah, I knew something was going to happen, which is why I'm like, can I talk about it? Because I've been wanting to talk about the astrogation stuff and uh, the amount of systems we can go to, but the game keeps triggering <laughs> forward on our plot line, so we'll get to it eventually. But yeah, okay, so Romulans are, are doing some, uh, what looks like a, a, a border incursion of some sort. Let's, let's take a look. On screen. Attention all Federation vessels. This is a priority one alert. A Romulan fleet has crossed the neutral zone into Federation space. 
All civilian ships are advised to avoid sectors along the border. A state of war now exists between the Federation and the Romulan Empire. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah. This is where we're going to have to start doing some actual tactical combat on the ship. I've not been looking forward to this because I'm going to die horribly. I might have to turn the difficulty down. I think I'll try to um, do this once at least manually uh, before I cut this episode off. Um, but let, let's... Uh... Mr. Wolf, you Captain, we should check our... Okay. We could cut... Mr. Data, any... Su I suggest... So, I'm sure Troy's going to say the same thing. Yeah. The room is empty. Well, thank you. Okay, so let's contact Starfleet. There is no response, sir. Maybe the comm relays are malfunctioning. See if you can raise any of the local Federation outposts. Aye, sir. I will try manually routing the transmission. I think we wait a little bit. Oh. There is no re Okay. Waiting. Waiting. There we go. I've established communication with Admiral Redrick. On screen. Captain Picard. I'm surprised you managed to get through. The Romulans have disrupted communications through half the sector. We received the invasion alert. What's the situation? Our information is still sketchy, but we know the Romulans destroyed outpost Gamma-1-5. It looks like the spearhead of their fleet is in the Golder sector. The Golder sector. The Enterprise is at your disposal, sir. Good. Then I want you to proceed to the Golder Delta system and report to Commander Chan at Outpost 543. She's coordinating our defenses in that area. I'll inform Admiral Williams as soon as we restore communications. Admiral, if we encounter the Romulans... You're free to engage, but don't pick a fight you can't win, Jean-Luc. We can't afford to lose the Enterprise. Good luck. And to you, sir. I'm afraid we're all going to need it. Picard out. Lay in a course for the Goldor Delta system. Maximum warp. Engage. All right, so the Romulans are invading. This has taken an interesting turn for the plot. Three light years. Okay, I'm going to do something here because I, I really want to talk about this before. Uh, we Federation space. Can we slow down? Engage. I think now this will take a while. Yes. Okay. I want to talk about astrogation before we uh, go any further. So. This is the map of the game world that the ship can actually go through. We've got uh, several... I want to say there's at least two, three hundred systems here. We can sort them out by... So we've got Federation Space, Romulan Neutral, Nebula, Non-Aligned. Inhabited space dis star bases inhabited space not displayed star bases not displayed inhabited space So yeah, we've we've got lots of things here now this this makes me question um, What the original design here of the game was because despite the scale of this little box here There's not really a lot you can do. I mean you can go to various star systems. If I just pick one, we can look at the system, and there we go. Here's the system. We can rotate it. Uh, it's got. Selected destination is an ion storm. See, if we went and flew to this ion storm, it would cause damage to the ship, possibly destroy us. Warning. Selected destination is a subspace vortex. Same thing here. Um, I think if we actually fly through these things in a straight line, if we're going from one system to another, then it damages the ship as well. Um, but, you know, I, I could go to these uh, these planets or stars, and that's all you can do. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's so much information here. If I just pick one in, say, Romulan space... Unscanned star system, okay. Uh, what about... Oh, shit. 
Okay, uh, we're in combat. Before I get to the combat, though, um, yeah, th there's so many systems here, and there's nothing you can do. So it made me think uh, or wonder if there was actually a bigger scope to this game originally, where you could go to different planets, have different side missions. Um, but as far as I know about all you can really do, if you fly into Romulan space, for example, you will eventually be intercepted by a couple of warbirds, or up to three warbirds, I think, engaged in combat. And you can just keep doing this. Uh, there are two star bases you can visit, which you can use to repair and rearm the Enterprise, because you do have a finite number of photon torpedoes. And if you uh, fire enough torpedoes, you eventually run out, and you're going to need to rearm. And eventually the ship will get damaged, so yes, the star base is useful for that. Um, but that that's it. And it's, it's a shame. Uh, I, I remember as a kid, just keep visiting all these systems, but there was nothing you could really do. Uh, so yeah, I, this was one of the reasons I wanted to try and find someone who had worked on the game, which I failed to do unfortunately, who could maybe explain what the original vision of this was. Because um, can you imagine how much cooler this game would have been if you had all this scope to it? Uh, maybe it's just a technical limitation of the time, obviously, there's only so much you could cram into it, and uh, time constraints as well. If this had been made in a more modern era, we would probably have something here. It would be a bit more akin to a, a proper RPG with an open world format. So yeah, this, this is what could have been, perhaps. But apparently, evasive maneuvers... Did I... Um, does this mean we're going to engage in combat? Hi, Captain. A Romulan okay. Okay, fire. Romulan we are being hailed. Okay, hail them. Do you need a moment, Captain? I understand you humans need to pray before death. Can I negotiate my way out of this? You know as well as I that our ships are evenly matched. A fight is in nobody's best interest. I am very much interested in a fight, Captain. The destruction of the Enterprise will be a great boost to my career. Okay, so I kind of got the controls down. Plus, minus on my numpad will increase my speed. I got the numpad for moving about. I don't know what's firing manually, but okay. Um, is the shields at Wolf? Nope. Shields. Okay, so uh, that's this way. It's firing. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it's schizophrenic views. Oh, let's go back to... Okay. This is crazy. I want to go back to... Oh, this will do, actually. We can now... Uh, come about. Go up. And... Oh my god, this is terrible. This is terrible. Uh, are we at full impulse? We are. Fire. We are being hailed. So we got different tactics. Okay, this is what I like to see. This is a uh, our phaser fire missed. Torpedo locked. And uh, we got different spreads of torpedoes. Let's get full full torpedo volleys. Oh, these controls are terrible. Fire. We are being hailed. Look at all those torpedoes that are completely missed. Let's try off torpedoes. Fire! Torpedo away. They're gonna hit. They're gonna hit. Direct hit. Yeah. The target is out of range. Uh. Firing. Oh no! No! Been hit. <laughs> this is terrible. Come on. Fire. <laughs> Fire. We are being hailed. Okay, so this is phaser power. Got our damage. Let's do following maneuvers. Tail chase. Engage. Torpedo locked. Disappointing the phasers don't sound like the normal phasers we're used to. Fire. These ships have Parkinson's, the way they're just kind of moving about. 
I'm gonna run out torpedoes very quickly the amount I'm... Switching to manual control. Hailed. Fire. Torpedo away. Enemy ship is firing. The target is out of range. Fire. We are oh, she's getting damaged. She's getting damaged. God, this is awful. Fire. I don't think this would be as bad if these things weren't so quick and schizophrenic. Fire. We are being hailed. Direct hit. Okay, her dorsal shield's down. Let's not ram the ship. You need a moment, Captain. I understand you. Hu the crew of the Enterprise is all. Fire. Our phaser fire missed. She's taking damage. Come on. The shields are holding. Did I get her? I have been hit. Yay! And we didn't suffer that much damage. All right. We we. Romulan warbird has been destroyed. Alert cancelled. Condition green. B. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's have a look at this model. Oh look at that. We got some damage. Yes. Okay. Um. I think we're going to need to go to a starbase. I don't know how many torpedoes we actually have left. Interesting, I'm not sure what this does. So if we went to engineering, we could actually increase our weapon power, I think? No? Um, any damage? Hey, look, see, ventral shields recharging. That's cool. Power's at maximum. We can increase reactor outputs. I'm not sure what the actual cost of that would be. That's cool. I, I just wish the tactical combat wasn't so quick. I mean, the controls are a bit crap, but if it wasn't just like this, then I think the combat would be actually a, a lot easier to deal with. And that's an easy fight. I know there are harder fights to deal with. Uh, we've got different tactical maneuvers we can do. But actually, I'm impressed that I did not die. Okay. Okay. I think we'll leave that there. Um, I'm going to stop here. I think this is a good place to cut off this, uh, this particular uh, episode. We can resume the Romulan invasion in episode 7. So, yeah, that was interesting. I think overall, uh, like I said from uh, last episode, I think the Frigis uh, away mission was definitely a lot better. Nowhere near as boring. I said it wasn't bored. Uh, it was a lot more streamlined. Um, yeah, and we we successfully got the fifth scroll. And now we've kind of jumped to uh, a more uh, urgent situation within the Federation with the Romulans. I, I like this change of pace. It's good. And the only th issue I'm going to have, I think, is going to have to do a fair amount of combat now, is how well we're going to do. I do recall that the Romulans are fairly easy to deal with because they've, uh, I think as the Ferengi Aramut said, they've uh, reduced their combat efficiency in favour of speed. Uh, but I do know we have some more tough fights later, so we'll see how I get on with them. But I, I, I will go to the star base and get repaired and rearmed with torpedoes because I think I wasted like a hundred torpedoes there trying to kill the the warbird. Um, but yeah, that that wasn't bad. This this is definitely getting more interesting now. Um, and Morassi was definitely the lowest point, and so I'm glad we got through that uh, that slog. So yeah, uh, again, remember to let me know in your comments in the in your comments in the comments section what you thought about the uh, uh, about this episode and the uh, situation with the Prime Directive and Garidia and whether we interfered or not. And uh, yeah, so until next time, take care.